Well, welcome back to OG's Kitchen. Uh, today we're going to be working on, uh, well, if you had any carcass, turkey carcass, uh, left over from Thanksgiving that you're frozen and going to do something with later, or you got a coming event where you uh, for Christmas and uh, New Year's, don't throw away that carcass of that turkey or all the scraps because I'm going to show you how to use those in making caldo. So it's going to be a combination of turkey broth and chicken and veggies. So I'm going to show you how to do it and uh, let, let's get started. All right, everybody, let's cook the, cut this cut this chicken into pieces. All right, and get rid of some of that fat as much as uh, as much as you can. Cut the sucker into chunks. All right, about, about this size. All right. Three chicken breasts, big ones. Get this stuff here. And there you go. All your chicken parts that we're going to be using today. Okay, get yourself a big old pot. I'm cooking for a lot of people here. Not cooking for just a couple. Put about three or four tablespoons of your favorite cooking oil in there. Put this thing up on uh, medium high. Let's go ahead and throw your chicken in there. You're going to cook that chicken almost till it's done here. Got big chunks. It's going to be a little while. Alright, here we are back here. It's been cooking for about 15 20 minutes. And it's not thoroughly cooked to the inside, but that's all right, because we got a way to go here. So, get yourself a couple of quarts of water, and just put that right in there. Make sure that the uh, that it's covered in there. You can see uh, pretty sloppy in there. All right, leave that. We're gonna. We're going to boil that for a while till we make sure that it's uh, it's kind of cooked. Now, here's the thing. If you don't have one of these, you might want to go out and get one. They're like a steamer cage. Okay? I'm going to put that right inside there. And what we're going to do is get our <clears throat> leftover turkey carcass that we had from Thanksgiving and we're going to put that right in that cage okay any kind of leftover meat if you want to bust this up a little bit you can get your scissors and uh, and just cut this cut this away into pieces I was lucky enough to go to my son's for Thanksgiving when he was carving the turkey, I told him to save all the parts for me because I was going to make some uh, turkey broth. And here we go. I'm actually making turkey soup. So, where the turkey is sitting in the water, that way all the juices from the turkey will go into, uh, into our soup. Okay? Is uh, cook this until the chicken is all the way cooked. Okay, so, um, and uh, don't forget to put your top on there if you have a top, and that'll help uh, steam up your the juices from the turkey and that'll fall down into the soup. And while we're waiting for our, uh, our soup to get, our chicken to get done here, we have to trim out these corns and uh, veggies. So, what you want to basically do is uh, chop these in about, I'm going to say about 
three quarter inch uh, pieces. Okay, we're uh, working. Uh, we're going to chop up some calabracitas. You can get these at your uh, at your market, your favorite market. What we're going to do today is uh, just peel them. You know, just like you would an apple. The skin. I'm using two of them today. Just uh, cut the ends off them. Cut them in half. And uh, you could uh, you could cut them in half again. And then just uh, and then just chunk these, and uh, you don't want to use the skins. So cut them in about there again. We're going to keep them chunky, so cut them in about uh, three quarters of an inch. Now we're going to make some uh, turnips. Uh, what you do with turnips is uh, is you can go ahead and peel them, and then just chop the end off. Just chunk it, you know, uh, chunk them, chunk them, same way you would, uh, you know, your other vegetables, so. And then just uh, cut them in about, um, same slave side, about half inch, you know. I'm doing uh, two of them today. If you're not quite sure what these things are, they're parsnips, and uh, you can get those. And it's the next thing we're going to add is uh, chayotes or coyotes as. Uh, do it the same way. It's a soft uh, veggie, so just go ahead and peel it, and then uh, do it like you would. Cut the ends off. Okay. Then uh, cut these like you do the other things. You don't have to seed these or anything, and then just. Uh, I'm going to be using two of them today. Okay, it's been about uh, 40 minutes. Just stir your turkey around a little bit. Your chicken at this point is probably done after about a half hour. All I'm doing right now is uh, trying to get the uh, the most broth out of I can out of this carcass. Okay. All right. Say you don't have this steamer insert, what you want to do is boil your carcass first in your pot. Okay, boil it and uh, get all the, uh, the juices out of that carcass and then when you're, then strain it. Strain your, uh, through a strainer and get all the bones and everything off your carcass and all you'll have is your broth, you can use that. Uh, to, to boil your chicken. Next thing you want to do is your carrots. And uh, take the ends off. <clears throat> and just cut these in uh, about a quarter of an inch or three-eighths of an inch or so. Okay, the next thing we want to do is our uh, celery. Just slice your celery like that. So all you do in chunks. Okay, potatoes. You guys know how to do this. Peel your potatoes in half. Good time to use these uh, small potatoes out of your bag. They're a little too small for baked potatoes, so you want to use them for something. A bunch of broccoli that I've prepared, just chunk it up like that. Okay, we're going to go with uh, about, unless you like onions a lot, go with about a half an onion. Just to slice it in about a quarter of an inch slices. Okay, and here comes our cabbage. We're going to go ahead and uh, about a quarter of it. 
if you really like cabbage, uh, go ahead and uh, use more cabbage. You want big leaves, not little tiny ones. Next thing we have are green beans. I got a, a handful here. And basically, take off the ends, you know, and uh, the little stems at the end. I uh, just cut them in half, use the whole things, you know. Okay, two tomatoes. And then just keep them, uh, yeah, about a half inch. So like that. Okay, after uh, after about an hour on the medium to low heat, uh, drain all the liquid out of your cage, and you'll see what's left of your carcass. Now you might not want to throw that out. Pull it on the side like I'm going to do, and I'm going to scavenge all the meat I can off of it and put it right there in, into the, the soup. Okay, while well, I'm waiting for the carcass to cool off a little bit so I can scavenge it, it. Scoop some, uh, some of the broth up here off the top into my separator. And what I'm going to do is separate the, uh, the grease and uh, pour pour the uh, the fluid back into the uh, into my mixture there. Pour this back. Okay, I've uh, taken the carcass that I had in here, and I went through it. And I came up with all this extra meat off the bones, and you can take these uh, these. Uh, Particles and put them right into your soup mixture for a lot more added flavor. Okay, follow me on this because we're going to go through what we're going to put for uh, ingredients. Tablespoon of salt. Tablespoon of thyme. A tablespoon of oregano. Black pepper, a tablespoon. Coriander, a tablespoon. If you don't like any of these things, don't use them. Okay, time to put in the veggies. You want to put in the, the he your heaviest veggies first, like corn or potatoes. The, the denser vegetables, like carrots. Your celeries, put those in right away and uh, leave your softer vegetables for a little later after they cook a while. So there you go, there you have it, uh, your veggies are cooking. Put those up on, um, well I had it kind of on low, go with a medium, bring the heat up a little bit. I like to go to medium, maybe medium high. Okay, now that our soup's been cooking with the uh, potatoes and the uh, corn and the carrots are heavier veggies. I'm going to add in the softer veggies. And the softer veggies, you know, consist of, uh, you know, your cabbage and your onions, and they, these are a little softer. Let that cook for about 10 or 15 minutes or so, and then we'll add, add the tomatoes. And uh, this is kind of what it looks like it's chunky. And it's uh, big chunks of uh, chicken and uh, and veggies, so it's a nice, thick, hearty meal. And I'm just going to turn this heat down to a medium low, and I'm going to let it simmer for about another half hour, and I think we should be done. Well, it's been a, probably need about another. Like I said, a half hour or so. I'm just going to go ahead and throw these tomatoes in here. Let that cook for uh, till all the veggies are done. Basically, your your chicken's already done. The turkey broth that was all pre-cooked uh, from your Thanksgiving dinner. So 
the chicken and the fowl uh, are done. The only thing that uh, you got to cook now are the veggies. Okay, I think we're done. Usually you can tell when your veggies are starting to submerge a little bit there. They're not floating up all on the top. They're pretty much done. So we're going to call this a day with uh, chunks of chicken and turkey. And it's all going to be good. Now I'm just going to go sit down and make me a bowl and eat. Everything's off. Okay, so I'm going to sit down to eat here. My caldo. I'm going to put a little lime. Some uh, cilantro. Then you get some uh, tortilla chips. You can just put those in there, break those up in there. You can follow up with uh, a little bit of cheese. If you like Parmesan cheese, you can sprinkle that on there. Wow. This is well worth it. It's going to take you a while. But to cook and everything, but wow, <clears throat> you better make enough of it because your guests or your family are going to be gone for seconds. Believe me, trust me. Well, that's just so excellent, I can't hardly stand it. <laughs> Well, I hope you liked uh, today's uh, lesson on uh, making caldo with uh, your leftover turkey carcass and uh, adding some chicken breasts and uh, some leftover uh, turkey that you got from that carcass. I'm glad you enjoyed it and uh, we'll uh, talk to you soon.